So we get a lot of questions about how we actually clone disks, and it's not very challenging. What we do is we have, um, in this case, just an external SATA uh, connection um, that we uh, receive from Seagate. This is just a, a mount from an old external disk kit. And um, these ones are great because they have the mounts right here. You can buy these kits separately off eBay or Kijiji. They'll look completely different, but basically, as long as you've got those two connectors, you're on your way. And we just take the disk and um, pop it in. Uh, there we go. Uh, pop the disk in, and uh, we clone it using a piece of software called Ease Us. Uh, disk backup, and there's just a USB connection we plug into the side. And uh, let's show you Ease Us, in case you haven't seen it before. So we use Ease Us Backup. Uh, trial edition. Uh, this is for not for commercial use. This is just for personal use. Uh, we show people how to do this. And we just go down to disk clone, and it asks you which disk you want to start with, which disk you want to clone uh, clone to, and you're on your way. Not very challenging. Then we physically swap the disk. We always benchmark it at each end, so you have an idea what's going on. Okay, so we've got the Sony VAIO 17 inch, 16 inch, something like that. It's a uh, PCG 8114. We were going to swap. They are going to swap the uh, ugly 5400 spin uh, spinning physical disc. With uh, we're going to swap it out with uh, a lovely Samsung uh, SSD. And uh, as part of that process, uh, I'm going to benchmark it. I want to see how much faster it actually is with the new system. Now, uh, just playing with it, we can see how incredibly slow this is. Um, and you'll see after we swap it that it, um, well, it's just a hell of a lot faster. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Nova Bench uh, off of this little memory stick and uh, run the benchmark, assuming I can get my computer to come up, which apparently is a big assumption these days. So, <laughs> there it goes. Okay. And you'll just see how really horrific this is uh, currently and how much better it's going to be afterwards. So let's go in and install Nova Bench, our friend. Uh, there's no particular reason to use Nova Bench other than that's what I've used for years. I think you could use any uh, benchmarking tool as long as you use the same one on both systems you'll probably get a pretty good idea. But these benchmarking tools uh, are built for different uh, things but um, to, to check the the speed of the disk and the overall you know I'm not doing anything particularly deep with video or whatever just a nice general benchmark like Nova Bench will be great. So we're going to do this install, then we're going to run it, and you'll see how um, uh, what the score is. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch. Yeah. Okay, so looking here, we can see that the uh, on Nova Bench, the uh, disk score is a pathetic 17 because the write speeds are at read and write are about 50 megabit. On a uh, an SSD, they're going to come in about 250, so about five times as fast. Um, and uh, so let's uh, flip this over and swap the disk and see how it operates with an SSD. Okay, so we've got it flipped over, and all I want to do is pop these two screws out. These are much longer than they look. They're that long, so you have an idea. Uh, so you really got to crank them. Now, originally I was trying to lift this up. You don't do that. This one you push this way, uh, which is hard to do with the screws in, but that's what you got to do. So you either have to get the screws out and then pry up, uh, which is what I'm going to do here. There we go. I'm going to pry it, try to pry it this way and up at the same time. Um, and the reason it there we go see that there's a little clip just got to get that screw up come on little screw there we go and there we go so I'm gonna flip this over so you can see there are tabs here so it has to slide in okay so all we do now is take this take these screws out and we can remove the old disk that's in here and replace it with the new spinning disk or the new solid-state disk SSD Turns out these two screws are the same length, uh, but um, 
uh, I would normally, okay, as I was saying, I would lay them out more carefully so that w the one that came out from one end, you know, I know which one to put back in, but I'm very confident these are the same. I'm still going to lay them out in that fashion so I know which one's which. But, okay, so let's just go, slide it back, lift it out, take the caddy, undo the screws, and, oh, well, that was put in tight. Uh, these screws, I can guarantee, were the same they always are because these are in a industry standard disc screws, so they have to be to do that. So there we go. So we're going to rip out the uh, Hitachi. Um, oh, I don't know how big this is. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, but it is just a 5400 spin uh, disc um, from February 2010. It's about a 500. There we go. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's pop in the new uh, um, SSD. So the, really, the only thing you have to be careful of here is you're putting it in the right way. So that, uh, that connector has to meet up with that connector, so I have to make sure that it goes in that way. There we go. And it will if I... So that's going to mount like that, which means I have to put the disc in like that. There we go. Yeah, so make sure that the, uh, the, uh, your connectors are between those two points, and you'll be fine. So let's start putting these in. Now, this is a smaller one. Uh, smaller disc and I do have spacers that I could put in here usually the box ships with some spacers uh, but um, I'm not going to use them because I, I really don't need them <laughs> okay so here we have it screwed in one two three four um, uh, pop it down so I have to scoot it in like that to go underneath the plastic there we go and then slide it back there it's in now and let's pop in a couple of these screws um, there we go hmm. now normally I wouldn't put this back together until I tested it but I'm pretty confident in this so I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it back down okay so this has hooks on it so it doesn't clip down, it goes, it slides in this way. So you take it like this, and you slide it in. There you go. And you can put the screws back in. Okay, so here what we've done is we're, uh, we're, we've run the clone, and we are now running a benchmark on this. And we're using Nova Bench, which is the tool I like to use personally. Um, lots of different tools out there. They're probably all fine. I use Nova Bench. Uh, just to give us a benchmark as to how it's going. So let's see what it comes up with. I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch it. There we go. Okay, so this came up with a score of 893. Uh, the CPU is nice and, you know, the CPU is fine. Disk score, uh, it's reading and writing at 250 megasecond. Yeah, you can see that it's a huge improvement over what we had with the spinning disk. So if you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.uartech.ca. Thanks. Bye-bye.